I'm standing here in front of my F-150 2011 truck and I was working on the seat here last week. I got a video that uh, shows me working on that seat. But in working on it, I, I ran this battery down to the point where it has no charge at all. It just doesn't work. So I got a new one. I'm going to show you how I change batteries. If you're not used to that, I'll show you how I change it. But before I do that, I want to tell you what happened to me. I locked this thing up last week and this morning I got here and I wanted to unlock it and guess what? The battery's dead. I have no key for the door. And the hood was down. How in the heck do you open the hood when it's down like that? If you ever find yourself in that predicament, I want to show you how to get your hood open so that you can access whatever you need under the hood if for some reason your cable breaks or if uh, your battery's dead like mine was and you can't get to the cable but it's a simple process so follow along and I'll show you how to access your truck engine bay and then also we're going to remove and replace this battery now this is what this looks like it'd be pushed all the way down and I want to show you how I did this let me just close it like it's supposed to be. There, that's locked. What I did is I took a rod like this and I worked it right in here and I was able to get that right there and I went like that and that thing opened right up and I was able to get to it. Now let me bring you in just real tight so you can see what I did here on this mechanism. I took this rod, put it in right here and this lever, there's a lever right here, this thing right there. If this was closed, this would be over here. All I did was take that in there and pop that like that and that released the hood and it popped up and then you just reach in and go like this and you can get her open. Quite honestly, when I found this like that, I didn't know what the heck I was going to do, but I was able to figure it out. So now you know, without figuring it out. Let's get this battery out of here. A couple of things you may need is, and I use, is a, a terminal cleaner, both directions, probably not on this one because it's a new battery, but... Uh, this right here, this one would go, yeah, this is the one you need. This one you don't because it's a new battery. And I usually spray some battery terminal cleaner on it, new or old. And then I spray it all with this battery protector. It just protects the, uh, all the components down on the battery. Now I'm not sure which nut I need here, but I'm going to look at this one right here if you see that we'll see what size that is but i think all i have to do is loosen this nut right there we're going to try a number 10 to start with that's too big let's drop down to a number eight that's too big let's go to a number seven perfect let's see if we can't get that loose we got the positive here what that does is it loosens a wedge, I think, that would allow this here to open up. And we got another one on the other side the same way. Let me get it. I don't know if I'm strong enough to lift this battery out or not. I need to get me a, a screwdriver to pry these open just a little bit on each side. So bear with me. This screwdriver's a bit big, but let's see what happens. Oh yeah, that's working. Now that should pop right off of there, and it does, but boy, is that ever tight. They got everything but the kitchen sink hooked to that. Let's check this one over here. Yep, that comes right off. Right down in here is, is another little bolt. 
and it looks like that's what's clamping the battery in. Let's see if there's something over here yet. Nothing over here that I can see, really. Let me get a stool and see if I can lift that out of there. I'm not tall enough, man enough to do it. Man, a tree that's tight. Okay, I got it. Let's see. I'll carry it in there by the old battery and we'll see how close it is. Or by the new battery. Let's see what we got down in here. Yep, all I have to do is set it in there with positive that direction. Let's see if I can do that. And get, I'm working on getting this stupid padding back in place because, I don't know, it just seems like the right thing to do. Oh boy, here goes guys. Just rest here a second. Okay, what I gotta do is get this out of the way and let that go straight down. Hey, we got it. Well, I'm glad that had that to go handle on it. Let's see if we can get this back in place. I can't even see it. Oh yeah, I can, there it is. I think it goes on, yeah, like this right here couple wedgies down in there that uh, oh boy how am I gonna do that pull that out like that and that goes right there and then let's see if I can get that started I see had it over too far there we go didn't have it lined up now she's lined up, let's snug that up. I don't know how anybody else changes batteries, but this is the way I do it. Sometimes I'm not too good at what I do, so try it at your own risk. But it is just a battery. Yeah, I'm gonna have to clean them out a little bit. Boy, this ratchet doesn't work very good. It's a Crossman. I don't know why it doesn't work. Okay, that's tight. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's look at these ends and see what we have. Now, the way I do this is I take this, I grab the cable end, and I just clean it out the best I can. Yeah, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Let's get it from the other way. There are other tools to do this with, but this is what I have. Just kind of had it for years though, too. So it's about wore out. Okay, that one's good. Let's get this one. I wonder if any of these other connections are bad. There's a lot of them. That's all rusted up. That's all rusted up there, isn't it? That'll work perfect. I'm gonna start with the positive first. And let's just spray a little of this on there. And that's just supposed to clean it up some. I don't know if it works, but it sounds good. Let's put that on there. nice and solid and then we'll tighten this little wedge up here again and that should bring that right down tight you can see the foam on there really are working I don't want to break anything so we'll be careful click 
Okay, now let's put this one on. Uh, let's spray it first. Maybe not quite as much. That was a lot. Now let's see if we can't tighten that up. And we'll see if we got any power. I hope so. My camera got too hot sitting there in the sun and it shut itself off. So I got you sitting in the shade. It's a little further away, I understand. But uh, let's see if the thing's gonna start. If it does, I'll just leave it run a while. Oh my goodness, it's hot in here. It's running. Let's open the windows. Get the, it gets cooled off a little in here. Oh yeah. Uh, let's see. I don't see any lights or anything that's saying it's not charging, so we're going to call that good. We'll get that uh, protection and put on there yet. I don't know if this is necessary or not, but I got it. Let's use it. Comes out a little red. It just kind of protects the terminals and everything up here. A little coat over it. Looks good. I'll leave that go. Pull this down. And A short little video showing you how to uh, open your hood when you can't get into it and then also replacing a battery. We're going to call that a fix. It was kind of simple I guess. Maybe not even anything anybody's interested in but that hood trick really helped me out. I hope it helps you and if you've never changed your battery out that's almost in real time what you saw. It, uh, there's a few cuts in it, but not many, probably not more than five or eight minutes. So we're going to call this done. I'm, I'm glad you followed to the end. If you want to see what I'm up to next, I'd, I ask you to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything. Can it be fixed? Sure it can. Can you fix it? You're darn right you can. Until the next one. Dang it. Go lock. Get back. There we go. Okay. Hang on a minute. Let me just rest here a second. Okay. What I gotta do is get this out of the way and let that go straight down. Hey, we got it.